So I started my self-talk journey, then I started going to the gym, and I just started to explore what my inner world was like. And what I learned is my inner world was very anxious. <laughs> so I am in maybe second year of university, and I have taken on this journey of changing my life and how I feel about myself. And I mentioned that I was in second year of university because at this point in university, everyone like parties. Every weekend it was like partying and drinking heavily. After a night of drinking, the next day I started to have panic attacks. I thought I was dying. I thought I was going mental. I did not understand what a panic attack was, but I just knew something was wrong. <laughs> so I went to the doctor at Ryerson and I said, can I get a mental health assessment? assessment? Because something's not right here. <laughs> I left that office that day with an anxiety disorder and panic disorder. And she told me, you know, keep working out, doing what you're doing and keep going to therapy. From learning that I have this disorder, I was like, okay, well, I got to stop drinking because drinking made me have panic attacks. So I started <laughs> to not going out, to not going out to parties. And that's what most of my friends did. So I really had to stop being friends and hanging out with people because all they did was drink. So I was really alone and it sucked because I felt so lonely. I had recently broken up with someone. So I really was alone with my own thoughts, with my own feelings. And I relied on going to the gym and I relied on YouTube videos and social media to make me feel less alone and to help me on my journey. After going to the gym for a long time and you know, reading books and all this stuff and changing my self talk, I really learned this valuable lesson that it's not about how I look that makes me enough and it's not about what I do that makes me enough. It's about what's on the inside, like who am I as a person? What makes me me? And I realized like my worth as a human is internal. It comes from an internal place. No one can take it away from me. And I learned that I'm always deserving of love no matter what. No matter if I fail and suck at doing something, I deserve love. Even